So I just got this in the mail. It's kind of a weird thing for me to be showing. Um, but it's a calendar that I got from one of the auction houses that I get books from every now and again. And for those of you who get books from them as well, you probably recognize this because you just recently got this in the mail as well. And it's just one of those like advertising calendars. Oops, showing them there on the bottom. <laughs> Little free advertising for them there. It's one of these advertising promotion calendars. Um, but I just really liked it, man. They got me, you know. Their marketing department got me. Guilty as charged. So what this is, is for each month, starting with December, up through the end of 2016, um, they've got, you know, the, not only the book, uh, not only books that came out during that same month, so you can see December through January print date, uh, release date books, these from 1943, 42, and 65. Not only do they give you those, which is kind of cool. I love seeing books... It, together as far as books that came out the same month, even if they're from different time periods. I don't know why my mind likes to group those books together, but uh, it just naturally does, and they've done it here visually for me, which is pretty cool, man. In big, huge, you know, calendar format. So you got first Wonder Woman. Uh, what the hell is this, Spidey? Is this the last Ditko? Is that what that is? No, oh, close to the last Ditko. First appearance of Gwen Stacy. Oops, sorry, guys. Obviously, I'm not a big Spidey fan, as some of you can see. I like some Spidey villains, but not Spidey himself all too, too much. Um, and Batman number nine, which is a freaking kick ass Batmobile cover. I think it's the first Batmobile, Batmobile cover ever. Yeah, it is. And there's a Joker appearance too, but, but they just show super nice copies here. I'll keep going through like this. So here you got for January, same thing with Superman, first Ant Man there. Or Wonder Woman. These all came out in January of 42, 42, 62. You know, they're taken from the different eras, the major books. And in addition to showing those books, so you can see what month they came out, they also show the sales records for what this company, this auction house, recently sold them for. So you can see $2,763 in 2015 for an amazing Spider Man number nine. First Electro. That's a nice looking copy, man. I love that blue. Um, but I think this is going to be interesting. I'm going to keep this, man. Even though it's not in the best of shape, it came all bent in my mailbox. I think it's going to be cool, maybe 10, 15 years from now, to look at a calendar like this and say to yourself, you know, hey, in 2016, look at this. They're advertising sales like over a quarter of a million dollars for an Iron Man. Are you kidding me? For a TOS 39 first Iron Man, over a quarter million? That's what people are going to be saying. I guarantee it. And it's either going to be because they can't believe how cheap it sold for or they can't believe how expensive it was selling for. And time will tell. That will be one hell of a difference one way or the other. And time will tell, huh? Mm, God. This is one of those where if you're in the market for this book, you're just crying in the corner every time you see one of these go on sale because it's just astronomical in terms of price, that first Hulk. But see, isn't that cool? I, mean, I think it's cool to know that Tech 27... Uh, first Supergirl, what's that one? I always forget what first Supergirl is. Action 252 and Hulk 1 all came out in the same month. You know, even though you're talking about 62, 59, and 39, they are kindred in that way. I thought it was very special. I appreciated, uh, even though it was, you know, obviously geared towards getting me to buy more comics, I appreciated this marketing gimmick. And uh, I'm going to put this calendar up on my refrigerator. <laughs> Comic Quarter would appreciate that one right there, I think, that Mad Magazine. Cool stuff, huh? Still looking for that bad boy. Still looking for that bad boy. What is that one? Oh, a 90. Wow. 125000 in 2014 is what that 90 sold for. A bargain, as Mr. Nick likes to say. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that was cool. Just sharing that quick little video and uh, I'll go back to my little daily grind here. Later on I'm going to 